Hey y'all, hey. Welcome to my channel. My name is Katora, also known as Tarot with Tora. And today we will be looking into the energies for April. We're going to see what comes out for the collective. There'll be some things for us to think about, meditate on, all that good stuff. Make sure you like this video, share it with your homegirl, tell her Katora sent you. First things first, I'm going to go into the Soul Journey lesson card. I'm going to pull us an oracle for the month and see what it is that we need to be meditating on, what the energy is like, so on and so forth. And we will go on to clarify said energy with the tarot. Let us see what we can get. Okay, we got self-esteem at the back of this deck. We have self-esteem at the back of this deck. It says, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. All right. So, in the month of April, I'm seeing many 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 of y'all go ahead and getting together um some type of self-care ritual um some of y'all are coming into this journey of self-love and um self-acceptance recognizing your gifts uh, recognizing your role in other people's life and your role in the community this self-esteem energy obviously has to do with the solar plexus so i think i i think that we could benefit from wearing yellow um, getting out into the sun, speaking positive over ourselves, speaking positive over others, watching our inner, our inner talk, our self-talk, um, being more mindful, self-esteem as a, a, a energy for this month lesson, you know, that we are supposed to be growing into ourselves. We are supposed to be um, improving we're supposed to be learning about ourselves healing ourselves all that good stuff and that you should do so confidently you should do so with the knowledge of your own gifts your skills your talents what makes you special so if you're feeling like you're in a place where you aren't sure of those things spirit is saying get clear sit with yourself the energy is good this is a good way to start off the month this is a good way to um begin the month of April. All right, let's see what else we can get out here. Okay, we got the four of wands. Okay, commitments coming through. New love, improvements in relationships. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, okay, we got another four card. What's up with these fours? Fours, the month of April is the fourth month. Okay. Four of Pentacles. Let me get one more spirit, please, and thank you. One more spirit, please, and thank you. All right, Page of Pentacles. I feel like an, I feel like there's an energy of newness. There is an energy of uh, uh, like a regenerate regeneration, revitalization. Um, strength card wants to be out here. There's new energy, new, new energy. So that's good for some of us. All right. So we have the four of wands, four of pentacles, 
Page of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacles, okay. Strength card out here. Really interesting. I'm talking about confidence earlier with this self-esteem energy. Then we get the Leo card out here talking about strength, confidence, courage. Okay. All right. So there are a couple of different themes happening here. Some of us are getting more established in that um, of which we've already started. It's spring and we are starting to see our own blessings, our our thoughts, the things that we've been trying to manifest come into fruition. Four of Wands, we got a relationship ascending to a higher level of, um, of commitment. So that could be engagement, marriage. Um, people are talking about doing things long term with each other. If you're in a partnership, if you're single, this could be a relationship with self or a, a relationship that is coming in that is going to be committed, solid, and it is something that is going to last, right? Four Pentacles talks about um, saving your money, <laughs> planning for the future. Um, I don't know. Somebody could be holding real tight to their finances, could be concerned about their finances. And um, are they going to be able to transition into this new season of their life financially secure? Spirit is saying have a spirit of abundance, have a, a spirit of, of prosperity, knowing that there's more where that came from. Whatever that means for somebody, y'all going to know what I mean. There's more where that came from. Meaning like if you feel, if you really feel like you're struggling, you're having a hard time getting on your feet, you only have so much, you're budgeting, you're budgeting, you're budgeting, you're budgeting. Spirit is saying, don't be afraid to live your life, that you're not just here to only make money, to only work, to cling so tightly and worry so much about your finances. I feel like for some of us, once we let up on that attachment to, oh, I don't have enough, or let up on that energy of, I'm not going to make it, or I'm, I don't, I can't do it that when we let up off of that, then maybe we can experience some of this good shit that's here too. Like this um, relationship that we have to, to to talking negatively about ourselves or about our finances or about our living situation, about our ability to be stable. Affirm to yourself that you can be stable. Release that attachment to, to um, feeling like you impoverished, feeling like you're needy, feeling like um, you have lack and that's the only thing that you have and that's all that you know. I understand coming from that, but where we going is the page of pinnacles. So like once you let up off that control of your finances and that those strong beliefs around what you're capable of and what you think you ain't capable of um, and begin to allow yourself to think positively, allow yourself to um, explore different avenues for maybe how you can make more money or introduce more stability into your life. This could be a career change for somebody. This could mean donate your stuff, give away, move, start over again for somebody. If that's on your path or something that you've been thinking about, this is a message that you should start to consider that, but not without a plan. Um, a page of pinnacles is saying the money is coming. You know, the opportunity is coming is the uh, stability that you seek is coming and some of y'all are really focused on getting y'all back together getting y'all life in order and uh, are getting ready to take a leap of faith with the strength card so you need to know with this self-esteem this strength energy and all of this newness that you are able to be successful wherever you land that you are able to um thrive wherever you land okay so period that's that's good 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 energy good energy to have for this month page of pentacles is saying expect new 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 money new new opportunities um but you have to uh focus on it i feel like somebody might want to come in and bless you with something or people are just praying for you people are um sending you well wishes and maybe you don't recognize that uh this could be your spirit team your ancestors are really supporting you on your journey to whatever is next and this understanding of your gifts and understanding of your role in your community or your role in your family your role within your you know whatever it is wherever you wherever you exist Spirit is supporting you and figuring out how to be comfortable, content, happy, and fulfilled. Period. Strength says, don't be afraid. You know, don't let fear keep you back. 
Don't let fear keep you stuck. Um, and I'm also getting this message of rock with the ones that rock with you. All right, so some of us may be trying to build new friendships, build new connections. I'm seeing that you should pour into the people who are pouring into you. Pour into the people who are pouring into you. There might be revitalization for relationships that um, between family members or between partners, romantic partners, or just between friends, even platonically or romantically, there could be really improvements in relationships, healing in relationships I'm seeing. Um, with folks that you have history with so i don't know i'm hearing like don't write off people you know don't write off people that you, you know you know you have history with and that you know the relationship is salvage salvageable the relationship is worth healing the relationship is worth um paying some attention to right don't write them off don't write them off um what else do i have Four of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Strength, Strength. Uh, uh, Four of Pentacles says don't be stingy. Have an attitude of gratitude. Um, obviously, I'm seeing this thing of like um, a reciprocity of knowing your worth, right? So if you know your worth, don't just give everything away to people. Um, you, you have to know when to give and when to keep things for yourself when to extend your energy and when to keep things to yourself so i don't know there needs to be balance in that area some of us are pouring way too much and not receiving anything in return our, our cups are empty um and because of that we may manifest this energy where we just like real tight to ourselves and we like, oh i got fucked over once i don't want to get fucked over again spirit is saying um just pick pick the way you use your energy pay attention to the way you use your energy pick your people wisely um pick the jobs wisely i'm seeing opportunities coming in so some of y'all may have different job opportunities to pick from different friends or um potential um suitors uh, if if you dating to pick from like god got options <laughs> Whatever it is you do, make sure that you're picking something that you feel like aligns with you for the long term, for the long haul. That ain't going to be here one day and then go on the next, okay? Um, something about longevity here today. We got a message about longevity, meaning if it's here to stay, we can play. Um, somebody wants to know about commitment. Somebody wants to know, will you go to the next step with them? Are you ready to go to the next step with them? All right. I'm going to pull us some final words for clarity. Um, and then we're going to get on up out of here. What I can't... I literally can't make this up, y'all. It says the long haul right it says the long haul meaning what's here what y'all need to know that whatever it is that you decide to focus on today whatever it is you decide to put your energy your passion your love into that you really need to make sure it's something that can sustain you that is something that's consistent that is something that when you give back to it it can give back to you whether it's a relationship a business a job an opportunity whatever it is the long haul says focus on stability okay focus on stability i see some of y'all are trying to manifest a new home manifest new opportunities all of that good stuff focus on stability um that's what you need to be writing down in your journals and putting on your vision board things that would have you feel stable okay alignment period see these are all things that we're talking about alignment um what else Speak your truth. All right. And community, which has been a common theme amongst all of these cards, is showing up in relationship to others. If you have somebody who have been hurt, or somebody who is dealing with healing from past relationship trauma, familial trauma, um, and you're concerned with breaking generational curses or you want to exist in healthier, better relationships, 
you have to learn these things in relationship with other people. You have to learn these things in, in community is what I'm hearing is what, what spirit wants um, you to know. So um, that can mean join a group. That can mean um, really lean into your friendships, really identify what your support system is and and don't let the past keep you from showing up for, for others in a way that you know you can. Alignment says things are just going to manifest for us this month in a way that they are exactly supposed to. Um, if you are if you are in alignment, then things are going to grow at a rapid pace. Things are going to move forward in a rapid pace. The long haul, we talked about that. Speak your truth. Um, and I, while I was shuffling, I saw um, put yourself first or choose yourself first or something like that. So we're going back to this self-esteem, this Leo energy, this uh, strength energy. I mean, um, uh, speak your truth is in. Once you know yourself, once you get clear on what it is that you desire, you can call it down into the universe and you can help bless others. Um, with this card up here, say about I possess the gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. That has everything to do with being in community and being in relationship to others. You need people. Some of us need other people to heal. Not in isolation. Sometimes isolation and being in hermit mode is cool. But for some of us, I'm feeling that this spring and April, we are coming up out of this energy of just being in, in solitude and being with ourselves. And now it's time to be in relationship with others so that we can learn and grow and people can hold us accountable and see us and hear us and all of those good things. Um, some of us, some of us, this journey that we've had, these experiences that we've had with self allow us to show up in the community in a more authentic, genuine way. And that is not lost on spirit. You know, that is a beautiful thing. So, yeah, we are definitely being led by spirit um, this month. And I am glad to have channeled this message for you all so if you like what you heard go ahead and subscribe for me go ahead and follow me on instagram i am at katora222 and thank you so much for watching thank you so much for tuning in to this message i appreciate you ashe